This will be a quick troubleshooting video for the PC itself as it relates to the camera, the microphone, and the speakers. If you are trying to set up a collaborate session in a classroom and you're having some difficulty and you can't get any support to help you right away, here are some settings that you might want to just take a quick look at. And reasonably, it's something that probably everyone should know. First of all, you'll have to get audio coming into the system so that you can have it go out to the speakers, obviously. The easiest way to do this, of course, is to bring up some music of your choosing on YouTube. So you have a long song playing there in the background, and then you'll try to isolate why it is you can't get any sound to come out of the speakers themselves. And we'll look at several settings for that first. So you have music playing, but you don't hear anything at all. And you mess with the volume, you still don't hear anything. Go ahead and cycle the power on the computer. Shut it off completely, turn it back on. That will get it back to the default settings. Then after it's restarted, go ahead and get your music going and see if you can hear it. If you can't, then here's where we start. Make sure the volume on the YouTube application itself is turned all the way up. We'll go down to the controls in the lower right corner. Select the speaker icon and then the chevron. The upward facing chevron will open up and show all the speaker output options you have. Select one and see if you can hear. Then select another and another. One might be to the HDMI out that goes to the projector if the projector has a speaker. One might be to a second set of speakers that are there. Or one might be to the speakers that are built into the computer. You can go through and test those and see which one works. And then make sure the audio level on those is set appropriately high. It is better to have them set a little high and then have to back them off than obviously too low and not know that they're even on. Keep in mind that if you or someone else has plugged in a microphone that has a headphone jack in it, the system will often recognize that headphone jack as the audio out that you want. And you'll have to go in and you'll have to find the correct speaker after plugging in a microphone. It doesn't seem to make sense, but that is true. With that said, there's another place to go and you can look at all the audio settings for not only the speaker output choice, but also the microphone input choice. Because if one attaches a webcam, it often has a microphone attached to that. So you have to choose which of those microphones you want to have. More often than not, if you're using a computer that has been set up by IT, you'll use the microphone that has the word codec as part of it. This varies, so once again, you can test those, but as you test and scratch the microphone itself, you'll see if it responds and for the visual indicators and the settings, and that will help you choose which mic you wanna go with. I got to the controls in front of us right now by going down to the speaker icon and right clicking it and then choosing open sound settings and that gives us this whole collection of settings. Under input you'll see your microphone choices. Go ahead and find the microphone that you want to use. The one that says audio codec in many of the computers will be the appropriate mic. Above that is some settings called output which is identical to the controls for speakers we saw earlier. Now that we have reason to believe the PC is set up with the correct speaker and that the mics are there, when we go to collaborate, after we've already selected the camera and the microphone, we can go over here to settings. And within settings, you'll go to the top of that, select the drop down for audio and video settings. And you'll see set up your camera and microphone as one of your options. This disconnects your camera and your mic for a moment, but you're still in collaborate. And then you can go in and you can be very careful about choosing the correct camera as your default camera and the correct microphone as you only have one microphone input that it allow you to use. And if you have a mic that's appropriate for the entire class, that's the one you would like to select. When you select it, though, go ahead and reach forward and gently scratch on it. And if you see the purple show up there, you'll know that you have the correct mic live, even if you don't recognize the names. If you do have more than one camera, make sure that they're both working in this area and then select the camera that you want as the default in the background when you choose this. That will allow students to always cut to the default camera away from the slides using a feature within Collaborate. If you do operate out of a classroom consistently, I trust that being able to set this up one time will help you do it repeatedly if others are changing it when you're not there. Anyway, please don't hesitate to reach out if I can help at all. Thanks so much.